Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to knit crew neck zero to four months old for a baby cardigan. And here is one baby wearing it. I have knit for the mother and for the baby. And I used, uh, as you know, Angora Rabbit yarn or uh, thin yarn. They're like lace yarn, so I double stranded. So uh, this is for something that you can knit with a DK weight or a, or you can double knit. Okay, here's a picture. One pose. Okay, here's another pose. Dad and mom and the baby, as you can see. It's a crew neck. I know it's really hard to see, but it is a crew neck. <laughs> Here's another picture. As you can see, the mother wanted the button just right on the collar. So that's how she uh, buttoned it up. But I'm going to do a couple of buttons and I will show you how to do that. So this is going to be knit top down. That's how I knit my shrugs cardigans it's been a couple of years now well i would say over a decade now i've been knitting and i've been doing tutorials on how to knit them okay so let's get started on how to knit zero to four month old baby cardigan a shrug a bolera whichever you would like to call it isn't this cute <laughs> Here are the yarn. As you can see, Angora Rabbit yarn is very thin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two ply. And these are 100% Angora Rabbit. And they're really, really hard to find. Okay, so I'm going to pull it from the inside. This is uh, 100 gram, I believe. I'm not quite sure. I forgot. But uh, yeah. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to cast on a total of 70 stitches. And then, see, one is thinner than the other. Okay, so this way it will become a DK weight, as you can see. So you need to, uh, with my measurements, with my stitches, you need to and always baby yarn are thin. They're always DK. So let's get started. I'll just show you before we get started. Okay, I wrote down, I took notes. This might help you a bit. I put down three months, but uh, if I knit a couple of more rows, then uh, that would be okay. I For a v-neck, I usually start with a 40 stitches. So total, you need 70 stitches. For the front, you need 16, 16. And for the where we do the increases, body part increases, don't forget that. So one, 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 one. So there's a total of four stitches. On the sleeve, there's seven. On the back, there's 20 stitches. On the sleeve, there's one. And uh, yeah, again, don't forget the one, one. So when you add them all up together, the front are 16, 16. Uh, I'm sorry, my brain just stopped. 36. When you add them up, right? It's 36. Is it? hmm. No, it's not. Um, 16, 16 is 32. 8, 8. It's, uh, so it's 16, 16. I did this wrong. Right, let me re recount this. Okay, so when you add them up, I went over and over. So when you add these, all these numbers, just discard this point here. It comes to 70 stitches. So cast on total of 70 stitches and let's get started. Okay, so I've cast on total of 70 stitches. This is the uh, right side and this is going to be the wrong side. So on the wrong side, we're just going to knit purl wise. And like I said, I am 
knitting with two strands to give the thickness because most of the angora rabbits are sold like this um, i think only one brand is uh a worsted and it's very expensive it's really hard to find the color that i'm looking for so uh, as soon as i see a yarn available i buy it or else you can't find it okay so i'm just gonna knit wrong side and i will finish this row and i will be back to show you how to divide the body parts okay again this is going to be a crew neck it's not going to be a v-neck i do have a tutorial from uh, 8 to 12 months old if you go into my videos and then write down baby all of the baby items will pop up and uh that's that one is a v-neck so if you want to knit for a uh, 8 to 12 months old just add 16 on the front front 16 and uh, knit the length that you need okay so I will finish this row and I'll be right back I already have this tutorial but I'm going to show it to you anyway I am I knit it I knit it like uh, it's a store-bought okay i'm gonna show it to you anyways so the first stitch i don't knit and what i'm going to do is i am going to flip this so i go from underneath i grab this stitch and i twist it like this and i put it back and i grab it and i knit it okay the next stitch is a purl stitch i'm gonna do the rib rib but to create this nice uh, effect so this one again I'm gonna go underneath grab it from the back and then twist it like this twist it or make it upside down whichever you would like to call it put it back on the needle and then knit this okay the next stitch is a purl stitch so I'm gonna repeat that grab it flip it Put it back knit it it gives you this nice see how it looks like instead of this this is a romanian uh, i learned it from a romanian lady and i think it's called a romanian i don't know what's it called or maybe a pearl i do have a tutorial on how to cast on this well as uh, how to cast on this as well so you can go and check that if you want to if you want to learn more details but this is another method and I am going to be knitting this all the way to the end. And I will be back. So purl. And then go from underneath. Grab it. And then twist it like this. Put it. And then knit the stitch. Okay. And the next stitch is a purl stitch. So go underneath. Like underneath. And grab it from here. And then twist it and put it back and then knit it see it gives you this nice look so I will finish this row and I will come back and I'm going to do knit and purl that's all I'm going to do as that worst we started so the back is going to be knit and purl so I'm gonna knit a couple of rows and I will come back and then we will start to divide the body parts okay so i have knit about this uh i believe six rows and this is enough for a newborn baby to a four month old so what i'm going to do is i'm going to divide the body parts while doing that i'm going to make a button right over here because it's going to be for a girl so right here i'm going to make a buttonhole on the fourth stitch so for seven row uh, for seven stitches i'm going to be knitting rib like one knit one purl so three four five six seven okay a total of um 16 we're the it's going to be the front so seven eight and then the rest is going to be knit stitch nine ten 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, on the 16th stitch, I'm going to do an increase, and this is how I do my increase. I do have this on my tutorials. I don't do yarn over because I don't like the hole. So what I do is, on the 16th stitch, I hold my stitch like this without pulling it, leaving it like this. I hold it and I go between here, right here, see, and I come it from the come from the back, and I grab it and I make a stitch. If you have a stitch, stitch marker, it would be perfect to put a stitch marker. So I'm going to knit this stitch, okay, on that knit stitch. That is my knit stitch. So before and after I am going to be doing increases on the front row every row until I have the length of the, the length that I need. And I believe uh, for a newborn it would be around, I don't know, 14 to 16, newborn to four month. I will measure it again and we'll see. So I don't leave it. I make another stitch. Okay, so I made another stitch. So here I made a stitch on the front and here this is the dividing part and I made a stitch right here for the sleeve. And then I still I continue knitting a total of seven stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I don't leave this. I hold it. I'm gonna make make a stitch. So I make a stitch, I knit this, and then I make another stitch. So I, I do increase. So right there, I am going to put my marker. I usually don't use markers, but uh, people were asking me to use markers because they're getting confused. So put the marker where you did the knit in between the two uh, increases that we did. And that would be... Every time we come to the stitch, we do an increase on left and right. Okay, so on the back, we're going to knit a total of 20 stitches. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I make an increase. I knit the stitch. And I'm going to grab a stitch marker right there on the knit stitch. I'm going to put my marker, but I don't let it go because I'm going to make a stitch. Pick up a stitch like this. Now we're doing the sleeves. Don't think I'm gonna have enough stitches. Let's see. <laughs> so seven, that's what it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make a stitch, knit one, and make a stitch. So here we should have 16, two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six. Perfect. I thought I didn't have enough stitch. That happens. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to put my marker right here where we did the knit. In the middle. So, three. So I'm going to knit two, four, six, eight, nine stitches. Just knit. Three, four, five, six, seven. Two, four, six, seven, two more. Okay. Two, four, six, seven. Okay, I am going to do the buttonhole on the fourth. Right here, I'm going to knit these two together. So, knit, purl, knit. And then I'm going to knit, uh, knit these two together. Okay. 
Okay. Pearl knit. Okay, the wrong side. I'm going to pick up a stitch. I didn't do a yarn over, if you notice. I don't like doing the yarn over overs because then it. Um, oh, let me do something. Sorry about that. I just realized. I hope you're not having a. I have no other choice because this is a custom order, right? And I, I don't, usually don't knit until, unless I get a custom order. But, um, yeah, that's the reason I'm doing the tutorial. <laughs> uh, sorry, but uh, you can see. And I am explaining. So, I don't knit my first stitches. Okay, going to knit, purl. So, somewhere here, I'm just going to pick up a stitch right here and then make a knit stitch and then continue knitting two four six seven okay the wrong side is just the knit stitch and I made my buttonhole so this is going to be my first buttonhole so all I'm going to do is I am going to be knitting and then doing my increases so I'm going to let you knit. Uh, and this is how it's going to look like. But before I do that, I'm going to show you how to do short rows. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll knit all the way here. Where are we? So I will knit all the way here. And I will show you how. I do have tutorials, but I'll show it again. And I'll be right back. So I will meet you right here. We're not going to be knitting all the way here because we're going to do a short row. The reason I like to do short row is when you fold it, the back of the fabric is going to go a little bit high. And it gives, it gives you a comfort and it looks nice. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so here I knit all the way here and I'm going to be turning. Okay. And I do my increase again when I see the increases that I'm supposed to do, right? This is the middle. So I do my increase. And then I make another one. There will be a gap, but we will close that. And then I continue knitting till I come to the marker. Yeah, I missed a, that happens a lot. Okay, the knitting needle that I'm using is a number four millimeter knitting needle. Okay, so I see my increase. Make one, and I knit this one, and I make another one. Okay, so I'm going to be doing same knitting and making my increase and I will meet you here to make another short row right here right after the increase. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm at the part where I did my increase and I'm just going to knit another stitch and I'm going to turn my work because I'm doing short rows, right? I want the back to go, the fabric to go high. And then, uh, even if it's a baby, it looks nice. And that's how I do on most of my project. So I don't knit this one. I slide it. And then I continue knitting. I continue knitting. So this time, I'm going to come right here. Just before, just before I do my increases right here, I will come. I will do the same as I did here. And I will knit all the way this time I'm gonna do here I will go back I will repeat this I will go back and I will knit all the way here and then I will go back I will knit here just before the increases and I will do that until I finish then what I do is I knit all the way where we started remember where we started oh here we started here so what I do is 
where we first started I knit two extra and I will come and show you that I'm just going to do the short rows and finish it and I'll be right back okay so this is how it looks like you can see the back is higher see what I mean and it looks nice so what I'm doing is I'm knitting I'm going to knit all these short rows that we did and to get rid of these holes I'm going to show you so what I do is this is the stitch that I did the turn so I am going to come here and then I knit these two together just like this okay. but you will see that this doesn't look nice <laughs> there's always a trick so what I do is I knit it from here so I put put these two stitches and I knit them see see how it looks so what I do is I put this needle here then I continue knitting until I come to the next short row because I'm going back okay here it is so I turn my work see I don't want that hole so what I do is I just oops sorry I went up so what I do is I pull this apart okay and then what I do is I knit these two together see and you won't see any holes it will be gone see So I put this back here and I go to the next one. I knit. Oh, here we are. Here we are. So I turn my work. It's easy when I'm knitting the front, but it's hard. I need to move it around to the front. Okay, so I pull. Uh, you can also do a yarn over, but I like this method. I don't know. I have been doing this all these years. So here's another way. The way you hold your stitches, the hole will be gone. So I knit. Okay, and again on the next one. So this is going to be the last one. So what I do is, sorry, I keep on going up. I pull it, pull these two stitches, and I put them back, and I knit them together. Ta-da! Okay, so I'm going to knit two more stitches, and then again, I'm going to go around, go back. So one, two. And then I will come back here and I will knit two more stitches and I will go back two more stitches and go back. And it gives me that uh, nice, uh, like round look. You will see the end result. So I will continue knitting. I, I will not going to be knitting this stitch. So I will knit and I will come right here where we are. Right here. And then I will fix a stitch and then I will come I will knit two stitches and I will go back I will come back two stitches I will knit two stitches and go back okay so I'm gonna knit a couple of rows I will finish this and I will come and show you how it looks like uh, and then I will put the link below on how to do short row and I do have a tutorial on how to knit a v-neck uh, uh, princess card again it's the same but this is a crew neck that's the only different see when you hold it it's going to be a crew neck the more I knit the more you will see the difference and I'll be right back before I let you go I just wanted to show you how to fix this side of the short row that we have knit so here is the hole and here is the turnaround 
So what I do is on the front, I pick these two stitches and I knit them two together. See? And don't forget to do your increase or where the stitch marker is. So I come all the way to the next short row that we did the turn around. Here it is. You can see because there's a gap there. So I pick these two stitches just like this and I knit them two together. And I do my increase. Okay, here's the next one okay again I release and I grab it and I knit them two together see and I knit two stitches and I turn my work and I just continue knitting and then you will see see it's getting high and when you fold it you will see the difference oops not letting me fold <laughs> see okay so I'm gonna knit so I'm gonna knit oops I'm gonna knit two stitches go all the way to the other knit two more and then come back knit two knit two until I come all the way here and don't forget to do your increases where you're supposed to and I'll be right back Okay, so I've been knitting for a couple of rows now, and this is how it looks like. So I stopped doing the short row, and I've been knitting back and forth. I knit a couple of rows, so this is how it looks like. This is how you start to knit a crew neck. It's hard to fold this, but I uh, just wanted to give you an idea. I will put the finish uh, look on my Instagram page it's angora underscore balera okay so I have my buttonhole right here and then I will make another buttonhole about I don't know two more inch later and this is how it looks like see the short row gives that nice look that's what I'm trying to say and uh, so I just wanted to share how to knit crew neck because I did a tutorial on how to knit uh, v-neck shrug for babies and this is for um, zero to three months uh, four months so I'm going to be knitting a couple of more rows to get the length that I need so I'm going to be knitting a total of five inches down and then I will divide the body parts. So at the moment, it is just four inches. So I'm going to be knitting another inch. And then after dividing the body parts, I will knit three more inches. And that's all I have to do. So this is a tutorial on how to start to knit the crew neck and the rest is very simple so I hope you like this tutorial on how to knit a zero to three month old uh, crew neck baby cardigan or baby shrug And if you want to see the full uh, tutorial, I will uh, put the link below on how to knit the V-neck. It's the same method, uh, it's just the crew neck. I wanted to show how to uh, start how to start knitting. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Share it with your family and friends. Happy knitting. Stay home, stay safe. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I have a live stream afternoon, Saturday afternoon. Tomorrow is the 27th, so it's been a month. <laughs> Let's talk to you soon. Take care, everybody.